Mass executioner Charles Manson still alive. California jail official Reuters cult pioneer and indicted mass killer Charles Manson, purportedly taken from a California jail where he is serving a lifelong incarceration to a doctor's facility for an undisclosed medicinal issue, is alive right now, a state jail official said on Wednesday celebrity babble site TMZ given an account of Tuesday that Manson was transported to a doctor's facility in Bakersfield, California around an hour from California State Prison in Corcoran, where he was being held. Manson, 82, was genuinely sick, a source told the Los Angeles Times however couldn't give assist information a representative to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, Chrissy Kakabashvili, declined to affirm the media reports or give subtle elements on Manson's area or specifics on his therapeutic condition. Charles Manson is alive right now, Kakabashvili said by phone on Wednesday, including that Manson was as yet doled out to the jail in Corcoran. She declined to remark further. In the 1960s, Manson, an alluring ex-convict, gathered a gathering of runaways and untouchables known as the Manson family. In the mid-year of 1969, he coordinated his for the most part youthful, female adherents to kill seven individuals in what prosecutors said was a piece of an arrangement to prompt a race war members of the faction wounded vigorously pregnant Hollywood on-screen character Sharon Tate 16 times in the early morning hours of August 9, 1969. Manson's devotees wounded or shot to death four other individuals at Tate's home. The next night, Manson's aggregate entered the adjacent home of market chain proprietor Lino LaBianca and his better half, Rosemary, wounded the couple to death and utilized their blood to compose Rise, Death to Pigs, and he Alter Skelter, a lost reference to the Beatles tune Helter Skelter, on the dividers and cooler entryway. Manson was initially condemned to death however was saved execution and his sentence changed over to life in jail after the California Supreme Court pronounced capital punishment illegal in the state. Announcing by Eric M. Johnson and Seattle editing by Jonathan Otis this story has not been altered by First Post staff and is produced via auto-sustain.